Hello there. It's the silly moustache again. Uh, a little while ago, I stumbled on a YouTube video by a gentleman called uh, Samuel Clements, whose YouTube channel is called Guitar, Gu Guitars, 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 and he was doing a comparison of two Collings guitars, one a 14 fret with mahogany back and sides, an Adirondack top, and the other one was a DS2H 12 fret dreadnought with Sitka and Rosewood. And I thought it was a very well done comparison. Back in 2013, I did a similar comparison between two of my uh, Collins guitars, uh, both 12 fret dreadnoughts, both Sitka topped, but one a DS1 with mahogany back and sides and the other with Rosewood back and sides. Uh, East India rosewood back and sides. So I looked back on my old comparison video and frankly I wasn't very impressed. So I thought I'd have another go and I'm going to steal um, Samuel's um, methodology which I thought was very well thought out. Uh, so I'm going to play just some first position chords on each one and then I'm going to do a little bit of flat picking, then a little bit of finger picking, and then a little bit of um, comping type styles with bar chords and things. Uh, just to give you the best idea of how these might sound. Both of these are strung with the Dario EJ17 strings, but with a light gauge um, top um, first and second, so 12s and 16s. And both have an action slightly higher than the recommended, about 80, 85, about 110. So this is the DS1 with mahogany back and sides. DS1. Built in 2008, bought by me in 2010. Since then it's been used quite ex um, uh, extensively uh, in bluegrass bands to the point where I had to have it refretted in 2016 I think. DS2H built in 2007, I bought it in 2011. Um, hardly played at all, neither of them were hardly played at all when I first got them. Uh, this had not been well maintained by the previous owner and needed a considerable amount of setup work. Here we go. Incidentally, because I've lost so much weight, they're not touching my belly when I'm playing them, so the back is responding. Now I'm going to do a little bit of flat picking on them. Just mainly to show the bass.
little bit of finger style perhaps. <laughs> Comping, by the way, I'm using um, my standard uh, pick, a blue chip TAD 50, which is about 1.25 mil, uh, beveled, of course, and a little bit of um, <clears throat> bar chord rhythm. forget my uh, amateurish playing uh, those essentially are the sounds of two guitars both in the region of uh, 10 years old both um, pretty much played in uh, I think Sitka uh, should be expected to be um, played considered played in by about uh, 10 years old whilst the DS1 has a darker um, Sitka top it is just Sitka I'm sure Collins would say if it wasn't um, the only modification being some bone bridge pins that I've put into both um, to replace the, the ebony pins that uh, come as standard with them. Uh, not for sound. I don't think that makes an appreciable difference in sound. Uh, I just like the look of bone bridge pins. And they look to be identical bridge pins from here. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I'll leave you to assess the tonal differences if you can perceive any. I can, but I'm not saying at the moment. So as always, I welcome your comments and your questions, uh, and uh, I'll endeavour to answer them as, um, as soon as YouTube tells me that they've been posted. And uh, I will also put a link to Samuel's comparison in the details below, because I think that's only fair. And uh, I, uh, I just like to say, if you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.